back. Random TV reviews, your girl and that. Your boy Stanley. Let me tell you right off the gate. They took every bummed out episode and put it into this one and it was off the chain. Yeah, it was off the chain, but it was all over the place, but it was good. It was a reviewer's nightmare, thus why it's taking us so long to do yeah. this. Come mind you, it's like 11.05 we just get ready to start reviewing because yes. we had to go back and do the notes and scripts. But it don't even matter. But we're going to give it to you. It don't matter. Shout out to y'all that's don't landed y'all selves over there on the vlogging channel. We see y'all over there. Yes, indeed. We got yes, the indeed. no bull skit. Yeah, we had to come with that tonight. Yeah, Because no they won't playing around tonight. But uh, while it's on my mind, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It don't cost you a dime. And like my baby said in the video, if you don't like it, you can always uncheck it Ain't and no big hit deal. the road and you got nothing to lose. Nope, but we already got you at that point. Yeah. You belong <laughs> to us. <laughs> so we're going to try to get through this as quickly as possible because we got to go to bed. Um, It was called The Unkindest Cut. Yeah. Let, mm, this, it all centered around this HVW fashion, fashion show. show. Which was, it basically reminded me of the, if, Certainly for the females, if y'all watch the Victoria's Secret fashion show, when they do that every year, it's freaking amazing. Even if that's not your thing, watch that fashion show. It is every freaking thing. Well, this lineup kind of reminded me of something like that as they were trying to bring out the new trends and stuff like that. Well, it's centered around this lady that pretty much, what she tried to do, she tried to do an African-themed yeah. um, clothing line or something like that or a fashion line. With no black people. Yeah. So now her whole thing now is, I got to go ahead and, and team dude, up with somebody. Dude, damage control. Basically. So I got to use these black people to re-freaking, re-fix my image. That's what she trying to do. And she just is racist. She could be with that terrible bob cut. Oh, that yeah. bob was driving me insane. Trying to get Tiana to put on that ugly white tablecloth dress. It, it On the right person, they would have slayed it. So we have um, Angelo's mom. AKA Miss Claire Huxtable. <laughs> you know, we love seeing her last week. Let me tell you something about that lady. She does not age. Nah. She, she just gets same. better with time. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's she looked the same to me from the Huxtable show. She does. Yeah, I, I mean And that short haircut on her. It's still kind of fun to see her on Empire, because I'm trying to put together Empire Cosby show. Yeah. Mrs. Huxtable. But she still got that yeah. still that that witty thing going on with her. Yeah, she still got it. I'm still, still trying to. I'm trying to win. Oh, it fits that, though. Yeah. I'm I, not in my mind yet. Not in my mind. <laughs> yet. I'm trying though. I'm trying. But she still look good. She look so, good. So, what Angelo pretty much is is let me bring you into Cookie's world so you don't think that everything about Cookie and the Lions is mm. so bad or whatever. So she having this walk through through Leviticus, and it came a time where they thought that they were going to introduce. Um, AKA Miss Claire Huxtable to this lady over here that's doing that's headlining, you know, putting on the fashion show, or whatever. Yeah, whatever her name is. Well, come to find out, they know oh, each, each other. other. Yeah. She's like, girl, <laughs> what? Yeah. Say, so we just sat on a couple of boys together. I said, you know what? I said, I told you, mama ain't the square y'all trying to make them look like. Uh huh. So. <laughs> When Angelo's mama came over, and, um, Jamal finally came over there, and he was like, Mama, da da da. Cookie was like, like mm -mm. Don't you see we got company? He was like, Oh, hey, how you doing? So he won't hide today. Yeah. <laughs> Angelo's mama said, Look ahead, Jamal. It is so nice to see you again. Um, I was so touched by that song that you wrote for your mama. I got something for you. Why don't you write a song centered around my son's campaign? And why don't you go ahead and perform that at the captain's, at the captain's ball. ball? Cookie was like, uh-uh, nah, nah. I got you somebody know, else for I you. I got somebody else for you, you know. She said, no. Nah. Yeah, nah. And I said, is you being shaded? I she, think she was. <laughs> I said, and then Jamal said, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll be honored. I said. But I was like, I don't think you're ready. I don't think you're ready. Yeah, so we're going to go. That you're going to be perform, performing in front right. of all these bougie folk. You can't perform gonna be, in front of your freaking family Yeah, yet. they're probably going to sit there and look at you like this. They gonna do the mannequin challenge on you. That girl was a. <laughs> That's what they gonna do to you. <laughs> so um, and then we'll we'll put a pause on that. So then we see Andre. Andre is sitting at the table. He out there. He out there again. Uh, and I said, don't you tell me, yeah. Dead A Rhonda. It's gonna show back up again, and they're ready for the threesome again. Yeah. <laughs> but no, Rhonda stayed dead. But Andre was out there. Andre said. Mm -hmm. It, it, it wasn't Andre. It, 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 it was her. She, 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 she called me fam. She called me fam. It, it wasn't it was, Andre. It wasn't Andre. She called me Andre. <laughs> she called me fam. And 
all of a sudden, we see Girl, somebody you, walk up. hands come like this. And I said, whoa. I said, Ronda Ray had touched people. But it wasn't Ronda. <laughs> it was Nessa. Nessa said, Andre, you all right? And I thought this was the time he was going to tear her little back. I got a situation going on that I think you should be privy to the information on. Yeah. But I got a, I got another woman. No, I I got another personality way over town. And it ain't good to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but he didn't. And he told her, he said, look, he said, I'm good. But me and my dad got something going on. And about a lot of money about to drop. So when it dropped. Got to be in position, buddy. I said, what the hell is he talking about? Baby? I'm going to put this plug. I, I, I'm still trying to figure out if he, he really down for Nessa or he just using her. I'm still trying to figure it out. Or too. like little Wayne says, he, he RIP in her resting in the puss. <laughs> with her until he get what he want. So I said, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. So the lady, and I forgive me because I don't remember her name and I ain't going back to remember this lady's name, but she looked like Janice Dickinson before Janice Dickinson screwed her face up with all that freaking plastic <laughs> surgery. Y'all know who I'm talking about. So the lady was like, um, she was brief and cookie about how she wanted Tiana to look. She was like, I don't want Tiana to have her hair the way she got it. That's not the look that we're going for. Um, yeah, we want a sleek, sleek look. look and I need her hair. I need a fine tooth comb to be able what, what? to go through her hair. And I was like, it's like this is so you sure you, you want You're trying to turn her into a white girl. That's what you're trying to do. She's not a white girl. She's black. <laughs> I said, what? So cookie was like, but. Do you see who you looking Look, at? Yeah. And the demands that you were trying to put on like somebody. Like she can't dance and, that, and do her choreography and that boo skit. That's almost like somebody coming to me and be like, Hey, I want you to come on my television show, but I don't want you to have a weave. And all you ever see me in is a weave. And you're going to say, fuck your show. And then I'll take my <laughs> weave off and I'll be like, yes, my hair is down here. <laughs> you know, so um, yeah, I was like, lady, you, you doing the most. But it is what it is. So at this same time, we see Andre, he brings Nessa through. Now, mind you, paint the picture. Tiana is on the stage this whole time doing the lineup. You know, everybody walking down. Yeah, she's, you know, in. she's finding her flow. Mm -hmm. She's finding how to, you know, do mm -hmm. her choreography around the fashion show, or whatever. And Andre said, Nessa, take a good look around and let me know what it is that you want. Yeah. She mm -hmm. said, I want this. And she pointed to Tiana. I said, all hell. I said, all hell is about ready to break loose. And Andre had that look. Yup. I said, all hell, here it I'll is. I'll do it for you, baby. I said, look, I'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it for you. So the next thing we see, we see Andre talking to Cookie. Cookie said, boy, if anybody I needed at that dinner, it was you. And you <laughs> stood me up. He said, you know what, mama? I apologize. But I was, I was doing, doing what you were doing. She said, what you mean? Cause I was like, you got something yeah, like you doing? Yeah. But she said, um, Andre said, said, no, I was with the family. family. She was like, oh, she said, you better dig at her. He said, I am. Yeah. Mom. He said, you know, I'm trying to move on. Anything wrong with that mama? Huh? Anything wrong with that? He said, am I wrong? Yeah. Am I wrong for that? Am I wrong? No, she said, you good. She said, I want, I want it for you. He said, you know what, mom, what you can do for me is, he said, would it be good for if you can get Nessa to, to shadow Tiana? She, you know, she can learn way. something. She can learn something from her. Ain't a cookie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do that for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, but you owe me, boy. Mm -hmm. You owe me. <laughs> and I said, God don't if she ain't freaking. I'm like, you you couldn't see through that? I said, okay. So that I just said, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start over. <laughs> and the next thing we see, Nessa is on the inside. Nessa is in the, um, in the room with um, Tiana. Uh, Portia. Portia trying to make her like the dress though. She was like, girl, you need to do what you need to do to go ahead and get that coin. You know, you know, plead these white folk and get this hair money right here. And then we're going to turn her back. She said, yeah, you need to get laid. Yeah. Because you're awfully <laughs> uptight here lately. I said, yeah, Tiana has been uptight this entire season. Yeah. She need to be. I saw her. It's late at night. Yeah. <laughs> this is keep, almost. Keep it PG. Keep it PG. But it was. Send the kids to bed. And they need to be bad anyway. Yeah, they got. They don't need to be looking at Empire, don't they? They go. They gotta go to school tomorrow, right? Back in school, yeah, they're still on know. break. It don't even matter. So um, 
But at the same time, when they back in the back, um, Lucius announces that, hey, Hakeem is going to re-record all of Graham's Graham songs. So look, y'all get a little cozy at the code because y'all going to have to learn how to get along. Now, Nessa is planted in there hearing Him, all, all of this all information. Stuff. I said, this is, this, this ain't what you want. So Tiana's pissed off because the dress is ill-fitting to her body. She mm -hmm. can't do her choreography. So I can't move in this. It, it was a freaking choir robe, for God's sake. To be that honest with you. Like. I mean, that's basically what it was. And um, it, on the right person, they would have slayed it, though. And she was like, look, Nessa, help me get out of this got no dress. I ain't got time for the booskit. No <laughs> booskit. I ain't got time for it. <laughs> and Nessa hurry up and gets her out of the dress. Tiana steps out of the dress. Nessa takes the dress and tosses it on something. Yeah. Immediately. It went in flames. That joker went up like synthetic hair. But I don't mean no harm. I, I I don't know the price of couture stuff, but the name sounds expensive. Very expensive. So I can imagine the dress product was a five or six digit cost dress. And it went up in flames that fast. That, sh that, that motherfucker should have some fire insurance in there. It should be able to withstand <laughs> any kind of heat. Water, sweat, you name it. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't win them flames that fast. It said, it started smoking. But I said, oh my God. So basically, Nessa said the girl dress on fire on purpose, yeah. right? <laughs> so of course, Tiana goes off. Oh, oh. She was like, oh my God, Nessa, what the F did you do? You sat here and you ruined this. And the girl was like, oh, I, I'll get you another one. She said, it's couture. No. It's only no. one. <laughs> How she said, this woman's going to kill me. She didn't want me in a bougie um, thing anyway. And the she only wanted reason to straighten up my hair. Yeah, and the only reason she wanted me in there because her bullshit thing failed the first time. Now she's trying to get me in there so that she can rent back her, her street cred with the black folk. <laughs> I mean, she just going. She went on a Kanye rant. That's basically what she did. So, next thing we know, we got Cookie and all of them in the board meeting, mm -hmm. in the boardroom, yeah. watching it. That bullshit is online. That fast. Leaked. And we know who did it. I said, Andre. Said, who did it? Andre did it. Who did it? Andre did it. <laughs> I said, oh my God. Andre said, I'll fix his mom. I'll fix it. I'll get it straight. <laughs> she said, boy, you better fix it and you better fix it good. Oh, he said, oh, I'll fix this. Yeah, you know, I'm good at this, mama. Andre I'll goes over there to the, to the lady house. I don't know her name. I told y'all I, I don't remember her name. Um, goes over to her house. Now the lady is stroking her daughter's hair, and it was really demonic looking to me. It was like I don't know. Weird. It, it, it was weird. It was weird. It, it, was, it was giving me weird teeth. It was weird. So Andre was like, um, "What is it that you have against Tiana and her look?" And she was like. I'm not prejudiced. I just have a preference. If I was prejudiced, would Michael Strahan's children be playing at my house? I even let them in my pool for God's sake. I said one mm -hmm. month. I said, first thing I thought about was when D.L. Hughley was there, the Kings of Comedy. He said, if you know him and the black people is in your house, you racist in a motherfucker. And when the um, black kids got into that pool that time, the community pool, yeah. and them jokers, I thought about that too. And um, Andre said, huh, he said, but you know what? If you really want to do some damage control, go all the way out there. All the way all in. All the way out some there. Some pure blackness. I mean, as hood as it can get. Yeah, from the urban leagues, buddy. He said, Nessa's, she Nessa fresh. Nessa Parker. She young. She new on the scene. She'll be able to captivate a whole nother audience. Mm -hmm. And this will be exactly what you need to turn this all around. She, she said, said I got somebody else I got in somebody mind. Else. No. And she named the person. He said, oh, okay. you, you want to make it white. Okay, that's fine. It's and okay. the next thing I know, he walks out there with his Lucia Lion hat on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Turn around and looks at the woman and says, your daughter. Oh. I know why you love that hair. Oh, her hair is so beautiful. I, I said, said, oh, skip. I said, what, Andre, what is you going to do to that chick cow? What you going to do? You going to cut it? And the next thing we saw... Was a little girl laying in the bed <laughs> and clumps of hair was over there. It looked like some of us just doing a view a voodoo ritual. I'm young, no ringing. Speaking of that, y'all, y'all didn't get the joke the last time. We knew that was sage. We yeah, said yeah. that it was weed because Lucia said, said it, it was weed. weed. Yeah, we were just playing. We from yeah. the dirty south. We know we know what, what sage is. Yeah, but it don't even matter. It don't matter. But just to tell y'all, that was that was a joke. But you Lucia know what I thought said. about? But you know what I thought when he cut her hair? 
that got doing thing we used to watch that cartoon was it Rapunzel? <laughs> she had that long hair, and there was envious of that hair. They didn't want to get that hair cut, and well, the hair ended up getting cut, buddy. So when the hair was cut, little girl woke up screaming and hollering. Mama came in there screaming and hollering. Where the mom? Where the, where the, where the child daddy at? Cause I ain't seen no daddy this whole time. Yeah. And um, they say we know. <laughs> Nessa got that spot as the yep. headliner for that fashion yep. show. Had her green dress on and her... And the freaking mm. setup was killer. Yeah, I was killer. loved every bit yeah, of it, was, it. They called it Black Girl Magic. Yeah, and then they changed the lyrics and said, but just something, something girl magic. It was, just, it was, it was everything to me. Yeah, it was good. It was tight. So, um, everybody peeped out what the hell had just happened. Hakeem peeped it. Hakeem rolled up on Andre about it. <laughs> Andre said, hey. Don't get mad. You a little jealous? Yeah. You a little jealous because I got Nessa or whatever? And yeah. if you don't watch out, I'm going to roll up on Tiana. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I said, Andre. And they got, into, path, boy. they got into this. Andre said, <laughs> <laughs> said What the hell is happening here? <laughs> and, and then there go Haki said, <laughs> And then Andre said, I'm already here, your brother. Bow. I'm waiting on you. I believe all of that was real. Yeah. <laughs> they cook it. She rolled up on Andre. She said, look at here, Andre. I, I don't have a handle on you no more. I don't like the person that you're becoming right now. Andre said, said. Andre said, I'm up. I'm up. I'm away. And I'm, I'm blessed. blessed. <laughs> I thought he was going to say, I'm all the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. When he <laughs> said, I'm blessed, I said, Andre. I'm awake and I'm blessed. <laughs> <laughs> so then the lady after the fashion show, Miss Dubois, Mama Dubois, she goes up to the lady and she was like, Oh, oh this, this was this was on point. point. Yeah. And she said, Oh honey, you're shaking. What's going on? She said, Gangster music, rap. Oh, the lyrics, it's real. It's real. real. You better get out while you can, sister. The lions are gangsters. Get out while you can. I'm like, you a freaking gangster. I said, if you and your Thick Bob, <laughs> don't get up out of there. I said, okay, it is what it is. And Mama Dubois was kind of looking like, hmm, you don't know that I'm a little hood too, huh? Yeah, I came. That's what I came from. But I was like, okay, I don't yeah, know how they about to spin this. So then, <laughs> Lucius tells Thursday, hey, have we found out what Tariq's um, weaknesses? Weakness we can't find it. And um, he said, um. Thirsty said, hey, this guy is just as clean, clean as spring water. Yeah, it's a, he's so clean, it's an insult. He said he bandaged right. Ranks. He ain't he ain't gonna smoke no, no weed. weed. He, he ain't, ain't on the down low. He ain't messing with no hookers. He said, I don't know what, I don't, I don't, I don't I don't know. Know what to tell you. Lil just said, well, everybody got a weakness. Drinking his little V8 juice and his freaking uh, piece of celery stick. Getting the nails <laughs> done. <laughs> I said, is this the is this the season for Pampalucius? He was getting his perm done at the table. Yeah, yeah we're getting the nail. Ask, ask Thirsty, you want to get your nails done? I don't know yeah. what he said. Thirsty oh, said, basically, I'm a rough and rugged guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't know never know what he's talking about. Now. Not nail. Yeah, I'm like that accent got thick. So um, so um, yeah. So he basically said, look, we got um, Sweetwater in there, Detective Sweetwater, and she ain't even <laughs> able to find some what kind of name is that. Yes. Yeah, and I expected water. her to be black, but she wouldn't. That sounds like a, a old grandma in the kitchen cooking collard greens. Mama so, Sweetwater. Mama Sweetwater. Sweetwater yeah. cornbread. So, um, and Lucius was like, hey, cook it. I need to take my crazy mama Lil and Anika out for tea. Pray yeah. for me. <laughs> and I said, okay, all right. So they sitting at lunch. Mama Lucius is going off. Where's the crust Where's to the my crust? bread? <laughs> They, that, he took my crust, bring my crust back. I said, <laughs> I said, what? What? So Lucia said, hey, both of y'all, what do y'all mm -hmm. need to do to coexist? Yeah, to get, get along. Anika said, well, first of all, you need to stay out of my stuff. Stay out of my closet. Stay yeah, out of my, my bathroom. And my lipstick, my wizard. Was my it, ruby my, lipstick. My ruby lipstick. Mama she said. said <laughs> I said, mama. Stop playing. <laughs> then Lucia said, what the hell did I tell you about respecting the nigga's boundaries? What did I tell you? Then he grabbed us and, and then she started going off again. Get off of me. Get You're off. not going to put me back in that room anymore. Get off me. Ah, you hurt me. <laughs> and, and, and the nigga was like, 
shh, shh. And then we saw this detective with an earpiece. And I said, is that Detective Sweetwater? I think it was Sweetwater. And I said, God darn it, it was Detective Sweetwater. I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead. I thought you were black, though. So I said, you know, sweet, Sweetwater? Well, yeah. we hear Tariq's voice through the earpiece that's yep. coming out of Sweetwater's freaking head. And he wanted to run on up in there. But Hugh said, uh-uh, uh-uh, nah, let yeah. it go. Yeah, you He's, can't. Can't break the cover. He said, you gotta you gotta go ahead and just go with it. You gotta use it. Yeah. And Tariq was like, but she old, oh, she elderly. She don't need to be mistreated like that. And um, she already, she got mental issues. He said, go ahead and just let go it, with it. Let it go. Let use it, go. it. So he you said, gotta, okay. Why you saying, you ought to let it go. What you say now? <laughs> so I said, okay, what, what kind of way is they about to spend this? Next thing we know, we see Mama Lucius. She got a doctor's appointment. Mm -hmm. She's sitting on what looked like to be the GYN table. Look like patient first and in Richmond. It, yeah, with the um, silver duck bill lips down in the drawer below. Uh -huh. Y'all know in the panty section, like Lady Nico say. And uh, next thing we need, we see Tyreek come in the room. Mama Lucius goes she off. She running out get there. Away, get, get, away away, get away from me. Get away from me. He said, hey. hey I'm, I'm a good guy. I know how your son treats I'm Chucky the good guy. <laughs> He said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to protect you. But you need to give me information on your son. You need you need to rat yeah. on him, basically. Yeah, I'm going to get you on out that house. So Mama Lucius was like, oh, okay. It's bad. Him and his wife, it's bad. And this is when I knew something was up. Yeah. She said, oh, Sodom and Gomorrah. And Sodom and Gomorrah. All they do is all kinds Kinda of sex. Just Inside sex. that study, yeah. Ooh. Nasty. So he said, Okay, we're we going to get this together. We're going to set it up. And the next thing we know, Mama Lucius was coming back to the daggone doctor's office with security. When they called her name, she said, hey, this is a GYN appointment. Y'all can stay right, right here. here. Them, them they, guys they like, were like, they sat right on down. I'm like, I would have sat down too. Like, they I don't said, see that I do not want to see your wrinkled up cooch. Nope. And your mm -hmm. wrinkled up lips. Uh, nope. Well, I'll be out here, about Have a moment say, or hangover with it. He said the last thing we remember having them Shasha Yeager. It's it's do that. So Mama Lucius, she goes, Tyreek is on the corner, flashes back. They go out and look like some kind of um uh what you call it, um courtyard area yeah, or court whatever. Park, whatever. And they're talking. Tyreek was like, you know, so tell me what's really going on with Lucius and she was like Oh, they just bad. Yeah, it's all bad. they do is have all this kind of sex. It's crazy. This, sex. And that, and the other. And she was like, Anika is a freak. Yeah, she's she a freak. Like, just, just like your mama. Say, oh. She said, that's probably why, why my man cheated with her. Yeah. You know. So then, Therese said, "Well, tell me about him." He was like, "Who?" He said, "My father. I never knew anything about him." She She's said, like, "Oh, you yeah. remind me of him." And said, "Boom." Got his tail. Got him. So he said, um. My mama didn't ever, you know, share any information with me, and I don't have any keepsakes of my dad. So Mama Lucius was like, you know, very nice guy, da 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 da. And they went on, and basically the scene panned out. Next thing we know, we saw Anika up in the dead going house in a lingerie. She had the Victoria's Secret yeah. stuff from the fashion said show. Had, said the Elite Collection. It was nice too. Can you let me buy that? So um, yeah, Elite, please let me buy that. <laughs> so um, she just breaking the stuff. Breaking expenses, stuff, boom, dropping stuff, and she told Lucius, "Look, I'm so sick and tired of saving <laughs> your way, and you do nothing for mine. You knew I wanted that, that job. Bow, bow. bow. She said, "You try one more thing, I'm gonna whoop your way. Bow. She didn't care. You know how when Nemo, when they said, "Don't you dare touch that boat," he said, <laughs> "A nigga was like." So, so that last thing she grabbed was that, what, it what, looked like a dick. Is that a dick? <laughs> it looked like a dick. A hashtag dick. <laughs> what? Is, you gotta tell them just real briefly. She had a job, and this guy that came and introduced himself on her new job, and his name was what? Dick Balls. <laughs> Did I had a guy when I used to work on a job uh, on the phone? And anybody name was Dick. He was saying real loud for he for we hear. He was saying, "Hey, Dick." <laughs> and this guy's name was Richard, but he liked to be called yeah, Dick. Richard's and his last name called, was Balls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, "Why?" I saw him say, "Richard, my name's Dick. Dick Balls." Hashtag Dick Balls. I said, "I'm done." 
Co-worker. So, <laughs> so the next thing we know, Anika was like, look, you're going to give me what I want. She took the robe off of the negligee, mm -hmm. had her tail hanging out, and so she wait said, a minute. if you don't get, I'm going to have your A if you don't have mine and all this. Mm -hmm. And next thing we know, it turned into 50 shades of gray. gray yeah, all and, this aggressive sex. And, and I, I, I got kind of scared because I was like, is, is she going to kill him? Is she going to try to kill him and try to stab him? Or is he going to choke her out? Said, is they having sex for real? Or what the hell's going on around here? Yeah. They get on the kitchen table. Lucius flips her over and said, I know how you like it. And he got the choking and yeah, stuff. Like, the and then the next thing we, and Anika said, I want my position and I want it on paper. Paper. I wanted in writing. And I said, tell they it, said, I do give it. it. I give it, it to you any way you want. I said, yeah, that's how you get them. Said that pussy will mess you up every freaking time, boy. Uh -huh. When you reach in between. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so Mama Lucius walks in. Keep it PG. So Mama Lucius walks in. <laughs> and she said, Sodom and Gomorrah. Hey, Get off on that table. Get off that table. I eat right there. <laughs> Lucius and Mama, hey, come on, come on, come on the back. I got to meet me in the study. I got to talk about these doctor's appointments you've been on. I was like, oh, said, oh yeah. yeah, he know about that. So Mama Lucius had her back turned. And Lucius is taking his tie off. I said, oh, he get ready to kill his mama. I said, Lucius, please you kill don't, your mama. Don't, don't, no, I, I know you evil, you the devil, but don't kill your mama. No, don't kill your mama. It still was creeping. Yeah. He took the tie and he put it around her neck. And Mama Lucius turns around and said, I did exactly Wait, what you said, said Dwight. I was like, what? She said, I even got three ice cream cones out the deal. Sucker. Sucker. I said, Ooh. she said, oh, I told him everything. You know, that we went over and all that good stuff. And um, he had a lot of questions about you. But once I started talking about your father, all he wanted to know was about how he was as a man, because mm -hmm. he don't have no memories. Yep. And that's basically all he wants is memories of his dad. Yep. And a keepsake. Lucia said, "Mama, dad, tell y'all life uh, you're crazy." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I reckon that he gonna use this information to blackmail him. I don't know how they gonna how he gonna spend it or what he gonna do. I don't know, but but Thursday was, gonna figure it out though. <laughs> Yeah, Thursday gonna figure it out. Becky won in this episode. I didn't see Becky. Did yeah, Be yeah, no, nah, Becky won in this episode. So we get Jamal. Jamal is, because he got to make good on his promise to do this uh, performance for Mrs. Dubois. Yeah. And um, he ain't ready. He can't perform. Mm -hmm. So his um, counselor decides, hey, we're going to put you in some VR glasses. And we're going to simulate a live audience. And I'm going to monitor your heart rate. So you put the patches on. If anybody ever had an EKG, you know mm -hmm. how I go. They shave all your stuff off the yeah. sandpaper, your titties. Them, them guys, can y'all at least warm them bastards up no. before you put them on my skin? It don't be free. <laughs> yeah, and then when they take them off, they rip your freaking layer of skin yeah. off. So, um, you know, he got him hooked up and everything. And they start off slow. And his heartbeat started at 70, 75 beats per minute or whatever. I said, I wish my heart rate was that low. So, um, you know, he's doing good. You know, he's starting to have some flashes, mm -hmm. but he holding his own. He holding his own. And the next thing we know, the devil walks in the goddamn yeah. room. But before you get that, that freaking VR was tight. Oh, it's tight. That jungle is tight. Man, we were talking about that earlier at work today. Because I watched Flossie Carter. If anybody, if you <laughs> ever want a review, a hood review on a product, techie stuff. Phones, preferably. Phones, iPads, yeah. everything. Flossie Carter on YouTube will get you all the way together. What he was talking about, what he used the virtual right. reality glasses for. Just say it involved a crying in a chair and some baby oil. Just he let said, your imagination do that. I said. Yeah. <laughs> so when I went in Verizon and I had to go Verizon night, I had a pass head. I said, why you ain't buying? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I said, I can see, I can see how this happens, you know? So Lucius walks in there and he said, hey, what the hell, hell is going on doing? up in there? What are you doing? You got electricity going, going through your, your, nip going your nipples now? <laughs> said, hashtag electric nipples. <laughs> I said, you know what? <laughs> Lucius said, hey, I don't know what the hell you got going on and what midlife crisis you's in, but don't you ever sing that song ever, ever again. again. And if you choke out like you on 8 Mile, like you rabbit on 8 Mile, mm -hmm. ever again, 
You're gonna be an independent artist, but Empires is in the future. In the past. But in the past, yeah. And your butt <laughs> is on the curb, basically. I said, Lucius. So then the um the counselor was like, You was good. Yeah. You were holding your own. But the minute he walked in here, your heart rate went to 165 beats per minute. Yeah. He said, He is your PTSD trigger. He said, Hell, he yeah, everybody got a PTSD trigger. He said, you need to fix this, man. Y'all need to work all that. I don't know what y'all need. Y'all need to kiss, hug, something, work all that out right now. He said, but if you can get over that, you, can be you fine. good. You good. I said, okay. So the next thing we saw, we saw Jamal having this listening session with the family or whatever. But I said, oh, hell, this about to be some bullshit. <laughs> so I said, okay. All right. Okay. We saw Lucius come in. And he was like, okay, so what we got here? Jamal said, I got a special song for my father. Yeah. Since he was so jealous. Uh, my song I wrote for my mama. I said, oh hell, here you go. Basically, the whole song, Jamar read him from up to down, left yep. to right, round the circle. Say, you's a cold man. A punk. A punk, you heartless. You messed my mama's life up. A coward. A coward. You sent her to prison for something that you did. You killed my grandfather, yeah. made him have a heart attack. <laughs> Had my mama do a hard time for you, girl. Yeah. I said, you know what? <laughs> he said, I want to be gangster. Lied that your mama was dead just yeah. so you could have street cred. I said, oh, bars. Get bars. I said, Get up. Lucius said, and then he started tearing up. I said, wait a minute. Is, you, said, is it getting is to him? It, is the Grinch got a heart? Getting, is it getting to him? And uh, Jamal said, hey. I'm not doing nothing. And the family ain't doing nothing. The family was like, what's that? Yeah. They was like, I ain't say that booze Yeah, I ain't with you. But that's how people do you though. They set you up. People will set there. you up and get you out there and then leave you all by yourself. And you be like. So Jamal said, what well, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I ain't doing nothing that and L song until I get my album. And then I'm going to do an album and it's going to be called When Cookie Met Lucius. Lucius. <laughs> so it's gonna chronicle everything, the truth, because our family the we need a healing. Yeah, we need a healing. Yeah, we, we need, need a, a blessing. Let's shut it up. Yeah, we need a healing. Like this. what was that show on? What did he say? You need a healing. Touch you. You need a healing. Who was that I don't on? Remember. Yeah, because he said that the they made him shout in church. What's that was on? I can't remember. I can't. But I know what yeah, because he made him shout in the church. Said they they shout in church to get ice cream and cake when they get home at night. <sighs> I got it. Never mind. I can't even think of the name of it. Y'all probably remember it. Yeah, I probably. <laughs> but um, so Lucius was sitting there, sitting there, and Cookie was like, "Okay, Jamal, go ahead and leave it alone. Everything is not in black and white." Da 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 da. And Jamal was like, "No, we need to fix this. Yeah. We need to come clean about some things. We need to change some things around about the line family." So this is when. Lucia's is not gonna take an L. Yeah, he's not gonna take he an gonna L. He's gonna bring up some bullshit. Yeah, to kind of come back at you. Now you ain't taking him down without him fighting. He said, "Let me go ahead and get something clear. Like your mother said, everything in this family ain't black and white. Yeah, and everybody hands in this family ain't clean. Yep. He said, "I will never apologize for doing the dirty work." to keep this family safe. Mm -hmm. You breathing my air, the air that I provided? I said, wait a minute now. <laughs> he said, look, he said, did your mama let you know that she called in a hit on Frank Gathers for some bullshit that she screwed up? Because you remember Cookie uh -huh. jumped the gun. Because she thought them roses that would come to the house were was coming from, from him. Frank. But it was Which I would have saw you yeah, I thought it would have been too, because it was the same roses that he was planting on people. So she had to go ahead and take Frank out because she thought Frank was trying to take her out. So Lucius let Jamal and everybody in the room know, hey. I took the L for that. I took the L because your mama called it here. Yep. Jamal said, mama, is that true? Like, and she, she Cookie is down. like acting somebody, uh -huh. boy. She was sitting there like. Yeah. <laughs> I said, you better go ahead and act. Woo. Mm. So Jamal was like, wait a minute. So wait a minute. I, I'm doing this song and now I got the big L. Lucia said, let me tell you something. I ain't never gonna apologize for loving y'all. Yep. Deuces. And walked off like a boss. I said, woo. And that was it, y'all. And, and I think this right was there. long enough. It was an excellent freaking episode. Yeah. But they had too many, too many moving, moving parts. parts. Yeah. They could so apologize if the review is a little longer than it usually is. And but, later, but. Yeah, but uh, we wanted to get it on out there for y'all. Like we say, don't forget to like, 
comment, and subscribe. And, and we tell, appreciate y'all. Yeah, and tell everybody you know about Stanley and Lynette at Random TV Review. Hashtag no bull sketch. Yeah. Break from, from the, the VA. VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. <laughs>